Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. Welcome to my third tips and tricks video. I'm going to keep this intro pretty short because the video is actually very long as it is and I don't want to make it a lot longer. Uh, I want to thank you guys for all the support on the last Iron Man series video. It's at 160 likes about now, so that's that's pretty ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and jump into the first tip. Alright guys, so the first tip is going to be dealing with blood and soul runes. Now, with Zaya implemented into the game, you can actually make 300k GP per hour now if you make only blood runes. Uh, you can also do soul runes once you get higher, you'll still make a bunch of money from doing this. Um, I'm not sure on the GP per hour, but it's probably around 240k. So basically, um, this revolves around selling these runes actually to Ali Morsain. Uh, you can sell blood runes for 200 each and soul runes for 150 each, and these are ground prices. You can sell all of them in a single world, you don't have to hop anywhere. The price never drops on them, so all you need for this is to finish the feud quest and to do the Rogue Trader minigame. Now a lot of you probably know that there's this weird ass Sudoku puzzle you have to do. It's kind of annoying if you haven't done them before. Uh, I'll be showing you guys how to do that pretty quick. You can do it in under 5 minutes with a uh, Sudoku solver. A solver. Sorry, I'm twisting my words right now, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys about that in a second. So what you're going to want to do once you have Blood and Soul runes is go ahead and uh, talk to Ali Morsain, and you're going to ask to see his selection of runes. It'll take a second to go into the next options, and then you want to go to the fourth option here, which says Buy Other Runes, and you guys will see the Blood and Soul runes in here, and if you go to Value on them, you will see that the Blood runes will sell for 200 each, and the Soul runes will sell for 150 each. So before you do this, I did forget to mention this, go ahead and go into your... Uh, options right here and set the mouse buttons to one uh, I'll show you guys why we're doing that in a second uh, but go ahead and go back into the uh, screen we're at before with him I'm sorry I should have done this before I actually completely forgot about it so once you're in the screen uh, basically this is gonna allow you to sell a shit ton down here you're just gonna click all the way down here as you see just click on the very bottom and it'll be over 50 and they're just gonna spam click your mouse like this and as you guys see it's pretty freaking easy to sell these and look how much money it is and uh, just so you guys can see here too, I'll value them. So you see they do not go down. Uh, Blood Rune Shop will buy for 200 so they don't go down there. Uh, same thing with Soul Runes. You'll see they'll still be at 150 So after I sold all of those, it's still 150 So this is a pretty crazy money-making method for Iron Man. Um, you basically make like 80 mil or something from doing 99 RC now if you use Zaya. Kind of OP. I uh, wish they never added it, but there's this now. It's in the game. So what I'm going to be showing you guys next is the Sudoku thing, how to do that really quick and easy. Okay, so I'm going to do this really quick because I know this is a tips and tricks video and this could be another video all on its own. Once you guys are at the part in the Rogue Mini Trader game, whatever, once you talk to Aubrey and you have to come back to him for the uh, rune shops, uh, basically you tell him you want to see his uh, selection of runes again. And there'll be an option to open a large crate in here, so click on try to open a large crate of runes. Make sure you click on examine lock. The other two will make you fail. So you guys will see this big ass screen. I know it's pretty intimidating. The, the fast method for doing this, I'll explain it really quick, is number the runes. So uh, give this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then basically what you want to do is go to the website sudoku slash solutions.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh, what you want to do is go ahead and type those numbers in. Uh, as you guys see over here, you'll have all these runes in here ready. So in this spot, you'll type 1. You'll go around all the runes. You'll type 1 here, 1 in this spot. And uh, once you get to Earths, you know, if you, since you label it 5, you'll put a 5 in this slot, a 5 in this slot. And then basically all you have to do is click Solve, and it'll tell you which numbers go where. And then you just have to uh, go through the runes you numbered and put those in the right spot. I hope I explained that well. If I didn't, just let me know in the description or the comments. I don't know why I said description. And I'll give you guys a little bit more tips on this, but I don't want to go that far into it since this is... A, uh, tips and tricks video and not a sudoku puzzle solving video so i'll see you guys in the next tip and here comes another tip associated with the introduction of zaya that makes another thing uh, a lot easier i actually did this in my last um iron man video you guys probably saw it i mentioned i might actually add it in here this is going to be how to collect mortmire fungus faster using the new spell book so what you're going to want to do for this is uh, have an arty cloak you guys probably have this it's not that hard to do the easy diaries yes i know i only have the second one i'm bad at the game so you need the Arty Cloak, obviously you need the Sickle for the uh, Fungus, and you also need either a Ring of Dueling or a Glory. You're going to use these to bank. If you guys want to bank at Edgeville, go ahead and use the Glory. If you want to bank at uh, Duel Arena or Castle Wars, I said that again. I always say that in all the videos. Castle Wars. If you want to bank at Castle Wars, use the Ring of Dueling. If you want to bank at Edgeville, use the Amulet of Glory. And you're also going to want to need uh, Soul Runes and Law Runes. Uh, the Teleport is right here. It's uh, South Graveyard. You can see it's one Law and two Souls. So after you guys have this, what you want to head and do is teleport to the Salve Graveyard. And you will see it takes you right outside the gate. The fairy ring is over here. 
So it's it's definitely a lot faster and a lot easier to do. So um, if you guys probably have your own spots to go, I think one of the best places to go is right here with these three logs. Uh, I find it gives a lot. So what I'm going to do is collect a full inventory, and then I'll be back to show you guys what to do. All right, so once you have a full inventory, uh, what you're going to want to do is teleport to um, the monastery with the Artie Cloak. Now, one thing I did want to mention is if you have a hard prayer level, you'll see I still have 51 prayer points left. So you can actually probably just skip this and go straight to banking uh, and do it just when you think you need more prey points. But for people with lower levels, you're probably going to want to do this every time. So once you have a full inventory, go ahead and teleport to the monastery. And as you guys know, there is an altar here that you can pray at. So pretty quick access to an altar. And after you do that, you either want to go to Edgeville or to Castle Wars and bank. And that's essentially it. Uh, I don't know how many you can get per hour. I haven't tested it really to see. Um, but yeah, there's the new method for collecting fungus. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next tip. This next method is going to deal with making mixes. Um, if you guys don't know what mixes are, basically they are two doses that you combine with caviar. You can't do it, I don't think, for all of them, but some give a lot of XP. Uh, the caviar you get from leaping sturgeons at the Barbarian Outpost. So essentially what you want to do is go to Barb Outpost and uh, start banking sturgeons. Uh, there's many ways you can do this. You know, you just fish for them and then drop the ones you don't want until you get a full inventory. What I do is I just teleport with a uh, games neck to Barb Outpost, run there and bank and, uh, and do that. Um, normally what I did actually is every time I left for a herb run, which I believe is every hour 20 minutes, I could be wrong, I haven't done one in a while, uh, what you do is um, every hour 20 minutes you just get a full inventory of sturgeon, do your farm run and keep doing that, and over time you'll eventually get a lot of these. Uh, what you want to do with these is pretty simple, you're just going to use your knife on them, and you'll see you get caviar and uh, fish off cuts. Fish off cuts you don't need at all, so you can just ignore those or drop them, do whatever you want, uh, but the caviar you do need. Now to get the two doses, there's probably a better way to do this that I don't know about. What I do is I go to the GE and just get um, decant into four doses, and then I start using the four doses on empty vials, and that'll automatically give you a two dose. So I'll just take out 13 four doses, 13 vials, and use them on each other. Um, it's actually pretty quick to get two doses that way. There's probably some other way I don't know about that you guys will mention in the comments, and uh, I'll end up adding that as a note on the video. But what you're going to want to do is just take out the Zami Brews and the Caviar you want. So, I uh, actually don't need that much. I'm trying to remember how I did this last time. Okay, so what I did is I put these two down in the corner like this. And make sure you actually, actually it doesn't matter. You can put these in either order you want. Make sure you are on this one right here. Set it to 1. And what you want to do is go to the bottom of your inventory. It's kind of like the soul and blood rune thing you did. Um, it'll automatically right click for you and be on use. And you can just go back and forth pretty pretty quick like this. Because uh, you do have to use these on each other one by one. And one you can essentially drink and the other one you can eat. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. But uh, you guys didn't see the XP drops. But they give a lot. Zambi Brews I believe are like 60 or something like that. So it's just a bunch of extra herb XP with some uh, potions you may not need. Like Zambi Brews. I have probably like 4,000 of those in my bank. And I'll never use them. So that's just another good way for you guys to get herb XP if you want to uh, bank your sturgeons when doing fishing. So I'll see you guys in the next tip. Alright guys, so the first tip is actually uh, buying emeralds and sapphires. Now, it might look a little weird because I'm actually in the middle of doing the uh, easy arty diary. I know I should have had this done a long time ago, but it comes into play with another tip later in the video, so I'm doing that now. But uh, the first tip is buying sapphires and emeralds from Hervey. Uh, this guy is in Keldegrim. The fastest way to get here is using the Blast Furnace minigame teleport and running east or west. Yeah, running west. Uh, run west from the Blast Furnace cellar and you'll get here. So this guy basically sells three sapphires and one emerald. Um, definitely the fastest way to get sapphires. These are out of stock sometimes because bots buy them out. Um, I've actually been here, I'd say, maybe a hundred times. And out of those hundred times, they uh, have been bought out maybe 20 so 8 out of 10 times about, uh, they'll actually be in stock. So if you guys want to go ahead and buy emeralds from another shop, go ahead and go to um, the Fight Cave shop. Uh, you can sell your Chaos Runes for Tackle there, and you can actually just buy one emerald per world and world hop. Those are actually uncut too, so you get some crafting XP from them. But uh, yeah, this is just a quick tip, another store to buy sapphires and emeralds from. Okay guys, so the last cool tip I have for you is actually going to be combined with another one because they have to go together. Uh, I do want to thank Haunter for showing me this. Uh, I don't know if he found it, but I'm the one like who found it from him. I'll leave a link to his video in the description of this. He found a way to bank sardines, the fastest way uh, 
before this I was using the void outpost and the deposit box there uh, what you guys are going to want to do for this is to finish the easy uh, Fremenic diaries that will give you access to Pierre the Seer who you guys will see in a minute so you're going to go ahead and go to this fishmonger right here and you'll see he sells sardines so just go ahead and bank a full inventory of sardines and then run back over here and you'll see Pierre the Seer right here just uh, click on him do deposit items you'll have to go through some dialogue with him and then you can just bank your sardines run back over and continue doing it um, I have no idea how many you can bank per hour. I think he might say it somewhere on his video, but definitely the fastest way to bank sardines in the game, so thank you to him for that. I will see you guys in the uh, next clip showing you the fastest way to collect red spider eggs. So once you have a bunch of sardines, what you're going to want to do is set your inventory up like this, and also make sure you guys wear the best gear you have, but make sure you are wearing an arty cloak. You need the arty cloak. So gear up in your best gear. Arty Cloak, get 14 sardines and 14 red spider eggs. If you guys don't have any of these, just go ahead and go to uh, uh, under Edgeville and you can uh, collect some there. There's six spawns, I believe. So just collect, uh, you can even collect like five or ten of them. Just just get some so you can start doing this. So what you're going to want to do is teleport to the monastery. And also, if you guys want to um, pot before you go, you can do that. Just take a sip of uh, you know, your attack, strength, and defense pots because those do help a lot. Uh, also using piety and stuff like that. Anything you can do for faster kills. So you're just going to go ahead and head over here to the Tower of Life. Now you do need to finish the Tower of Life quest in order to do this. Uh, you guys probably all have that done, or the majority of you. So you're going to go ahead and go back to here and go down this ladder, or the trap door. And make sure your compass is facing the way mine is, so you're going the right way. Go ahead and head over here. And what you're going to do over here is use one sardine and one red spider egg on the altar. And you guys will see that it spawns a... Uh, I don't remember what they're called, we'll see in a second. But you're going to go ahead and activate that, and it'll spawn a spidey, and that's what they're called. So you're going to want to kill these, and they will drop red spider eggs. I don't remember the exact amount. It's, it's like 2 to 6 or something like that. As you guys will see right here, they drop red spider eggs. Also, um, I think it's one of the arties you have to do. It might be hard, or medium. It, I think it's medium to get these noted. Uh, make sure you guys look up on that, because I actually have no idea. For the uh, fastest way to actually do this, make sure you guys use the sardine and the red spider egg on the altar while the spidey is spawning. So that time, by the time you kill it, you can just right-click the uh, altar and activate it again. Uh, doing this method, you can bank around 700 red spider eggs per hour. So that's going to conclude my third tips and tricks video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you uh, learned something from it. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's actually any tips that you guys know that I haven't mentioned yet in any of these videos because they can help a lot of people out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in hopefully three to four days with my next Iron Man series video. I actually wanted to release this in between because I was having a lot of problems getting clips this week due to a lot of school and just having to do a lot of grinding, buying gold ore and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys in three to four days with a new Iron Man series video. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace.